Yes, that's me. No, not the fruit of Einstein's loins. I'm the one in the back, the handsome one. My education ended faster than my family wished, but it still lasted too long for my taste. What I got out of college was mostly furniture for my cluttered apartment. Well, and acquaintances for life. I had already resigned myself to being back under my mother's wing when I received a letter from California. It smelled of hops and dirty rag and evoked a vague memory of a lost tradition. The letter was written by my grandpa's lawyer. The old guy died alone, which is not surprising because his only love was brewing beer. He even claimed that our family came from a long line of master brewers from Europe, something like Assassin's Mead. So, get this, my grandpa left me in charge of his bar. And let me tell you, this could be my big break. I'll pay off my family and prove to them who deserves to be called the Beer King of California. But I think I'll start by some hard cleaning and scraping the mold off the ceiling. If my watch is running well, you should have just arrived at our beautiful town. Lucky for you, the brew pub is located across the street. Without further ado, my name is Harvey, and I am your family's lawyer. Your grandfather transferred this beautiful bar to you. However, there's one catch. Your grandfather wrote a list of requirements that you must fulfill in order to fully own the bar. After completing a specific requirement, I will get in touch with you and give you instructions for the next task. Okay, let's start from the top of the list. Get the bar ready to open. He keeps throwing me in the face. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure that when you enter the venue, your brewing inner sense inherited from your grandfather will jumpstart and you will know what to do. Brewing inner sense, you say? I see I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Let's take a closer look. He <laughs> so wants me to go to the fruit bowl. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks so much for joining me. We are here for Brew Pub Simulator. We played it on the previous Next Fest, and they just released a demo. Uh, but the game is actually releasing before the next Next Fest. So I thought, well, let's get a, a jump start on the demo and play. Oop! Floating flowers! Floating flowers! Okay. Uh, I'm annoying the game by not going to where I need to go. <laughs> I just wanted to look at the business all around. So there's a thrifty drug across the street. I don't know if thrifty drug is around everywhere, but uh, that it's a drugstore here in uh, good old Minnesota. Oh, it's about to knock me back to the... All right, all right. Fine. Walk across the dang street. Uh, so anyway, they did a big update to the demo and really wanted people to play. Ah, okay. uh, the glamorous life of a bartender. Picking up trash. At least I'm not picking up my ex's broken dreams. Get rid of the trash inside. Alright, how do I open that? Oh, I just walk. I just hit it with my body. Not quite yet. Trash taken out. Time to start cleaning the dirt. Wait, I'm not done with the trash yet. I mean, I'm clearly not done with the trash yet. Oh, I can't interact with that trash. All right. 
Uh, so again, in all these kinds of games, I do like to take a hard look at the environment around us. It's everything to do. Up there. You know what that reminds me of? Only just because I just saw a post about it. Uh, these... By the lords of food poisoning and cat piss, I have the sweeping power. It reminds me a bit of uh, uh, the Simpsons. I think it was Hit and Run, where the items just kind of like float in the air like that. Interesting. Grandpa always used to say that the bar is like a canvas, and I don't remember the rest, but maybe he meant painting the walls. Finally, a chance to express my artistic vision. Let's hope the customers appreciate the abstract look. Oh, I... So when we're not doing this, we can also, uh... I forgot to tell you, I received a package for you. There should be some useful things in there. Ninja Box, Master of Deliveries. Love it. What do we have here? Perfect. Exactly what I need right now. Ah, uh, they fat. They fit into that box. I'm impressed. Sure is unreachable. Bit. That's a little bit getting used to. I'm confused. You can see it get, it's, you know, lit up and saying that it can't.
Naming a bar is like naming a child. You want it to be unique, memorable, and not end up in therapy. <laughs> okay. symbols what do we got we got a cat we're gonna be a fox there's a unicorn if there's no fox our backup will be the unicorn i promise a turtle with a beer on it there's a little mouse with a beer that's pretty cute too frollo low face the jackie chan face wendy's knockoff face all right uh, it's gonna be the unicorn. It's just, it's just gotta be. Majestic. Ribbon and... A background. Um... I like that. All right, uh, logo. Can you make the logo smaller? Not that I can tell. Anyway, uh, tax. I just remembered something. Recently, an old friend of your grandpa's brought some beer to the brewery for him to try. Prove your worth as a brewer by selling this beer down to the very last drop. Free beer? Ready to serve? How suspiciously convenient. I also get the NPCs. Okay, I have the beer. Now I just need to hook it up to the tap. Paleo. What a the fire thing is pretty cool. I think is this the tap? Done. Now something tells me that I should add the beer to the menu. Otherwise, customers won't know what's on offer. Got too fast. <laughs> that should do it. Okay, I have the beer, but I still need something to serve it in. Pouring beer directly into mouths is not an option, at least not until spring break. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, there's a dishwasher. The last time I played, I had to uh, uh, hand wash them. Okay, uh, do we want. Yes, let's just. Get ready, folks. The party's about to start. Or, to be specific, a seven-hour shift. Close enough.
Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. How much of a beer tsunami can it be with six glasses and one one singular mini keg? Okay, take the glass, pour the beer and serve it to the customer. Don't be shy. Piece of cake, right? Okay, not my fault. You guys saw it glitched. I'm not getting like going on. Just give me my beer. I'm trying to. gonna destroy all these glasses by the time they get here. Alright, this is... What is going on? Alright. It... Hold, rotate. Darn. I definitely need to clean this glass. A dirty glass in a pub is like a fly in the soup in a restaurant. Come here. in the air. I get it. I get it. For a game that's coming out in five days, I am a little concerned about the jankiness. Uh, I've picked up the dirty glass. And it acting like I am? <laughs> I'm on Grandpa. Awfully certain over there. Apparently one of them has game. Uh, so one big change was you can under, or uh, over, under and overfill the glass. <laughs> I just realized he looks like a dude wearing a fake. Uh... He is. It's the fake glasses and nose mustache thing, right? Oh my god! What's with the eyes? What is with the eyes? Is he an alien? Uh, 
uh, back in my days. Uh, hi, dude. Sorry, I was distracted by the alien. Wants me to take it to that sink? Why would I take it to that sink? That doesn't make it. Oh, they're wearing a horse's head. Like I guess. So confused by that mechanic, I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Well, I guess cleaning in a bar is part of the profession. What? Find and pick up the trash left by the customer. So a horse and an alien walk into a bar. Oh, is he? Sorry, dude, I thought... Nope. I like your style. Okay. It's not going. All right, all right. I'm done. I'm not going to fight with it anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, I have concerns. The game releases supposedly in five days. And uh, as you saw, there was there was problems. This did not go easily. Um, so anyway, I'll keep an eye out on it. Uh, the first, the other demo from the next fest wasn't plagued this badly I that I remember anyway. But... I'm done. Uh, thanks for keeping me company. I will be back soon, and maybe we'll be back in five days with the full game. 